Namaste. My name is Neelima. Welcome to Reflections Along the Way podcast where you will be listening to reflections from learnings and experiences along my life's journey. Just as an infant needs help in learning about all the different things of the world and learning how to recognize them and then learn how to stand on its own tiny feet and walk across the room a newborn spiritual aspirant has to first look within and learn to recognize the world within and then learn to walk among the sense objects of the world just as a you know happily content cheerful baby is kicking his limbs looking at the mobile or the lamp above his head similarly the spiritual aspirant must learn how to go about the daily activities while watching the mind constantly so they there has to be a sort of like a soldier uh watching over our intellect or like a silent observer of the mind with every thought word and deed that emerges out of us so we have to try to practice to observe our motives our intentions and our purposes that lie behind our every thought word and deed so when the intellect is so alert to witness all our minds thoughts then there will be no activity which we do unconsciously we are always aware of what's going on in our mind so what uh, swami ji suggests is to make a habit of parading through the day's activities within our mind at the end of each day all the thoughts all the words all the actions all the emotions that we have felt throughout that day if we can just kind of spend some time going through all those in our mind as an observer we don't have to judge them we just stand apart just thinking as though we are different from all those and just observe very impartially of all the activities as as a witness and we just move on we don't have to judge it analyze it we just observe as to what all went on that is what is called introspection uh, swami ji recommends that we practice it daily and we start today if we think we are doing it tomorrow tomorrow will never come we know that right so whatever we want to do we have to start today when we start doing this in the beginning it may be a little bit disappointing and disheartening where we are like too judgmental we are so attached to that and we over criticize ourselves or we are not able to be a proper witness and be impartial to all that but if we can ignore that and continue with the practice with the daily practice then what happens is we will start observing our faults and weaknesses with a very impartial way and when we observe that then there's a sort of revelation which kind of uh, goes with a very deeper understanding of our behavior and it is easy to make an effort to readjust those values and redirecting our thought currents so that we don't repeat those we have to be careful not to be discouraged when we kind of see those weaknesses and faults with the awareness that the more or the darker the report we see in our self analysis then the greater the effort we have to put in order to reorganize or redirect our thoughts so that we readjust our value system because of these revelations if we consciously and sincerely put in that effort the inner reformation is going to happen because when we detect 
those um, weaknesses and faults and when we are ashamed of those that very moment those traits that made us think or act in that way will die away and that technique is called negation so even with that we've only one half the battle after detecting this negative traits or after defeating or apprehending this uh, uh, weaknesses we have to substitute its opposite virtue in our personality as we practice more and more of this the new quality starts growing in our personality it becomes part of our natural personality this is called substitution this self analysis is very very important for all aspirants of spirituality if we practice this method of personality rehabilitation with daily introspection then we kind of slowly ensure that we don't have the feelings of failure and you know uh, and we actually grow steadily and become more happy free and successful in all aspects of life so just to recap the steps to grow steadily number 1 we have to introspect daily two we have to detect diligently and uh, impartially after we detect our weaknesses or faults we have to negate them ruthlessly when we come to a conclusion that this is not a virtue that we want to have or this is a weakness that is making me feel in a certain way then we negate it completely we don't want that so we negate it and then after negating it we substitute it wisely with the opposite virtue following these steps we can grow steadily and train our minds to become happy and free and peaceful and successful thank you for listening to today's reflections if you'd like to connect with me please visit bluishmuse.com until next time namaste